This is Optimal Living Daily Relationships, Episode 113, Four Ways to Protect Yourself from Emotional Manipulation, Part 1, by Mark Chernoff of MarkAndAngel.com. And I'm Joss Marie, your host and personal narrator. Welcome to the Relationships Edition of Optimal Living Daily, where I read to you from some of the best relationship blogs in the world every weekday for free. We cover topics about marriage, parenting, family, dating, breakups, just to list a few, and it's always with permission from the authors. Today, I have part one of a two-part post from Mark Chernoff of MarkAndAngel.com all about protecting yourself from emotional manipulation. So make sure and come on back again tomorrow to hear part two of this post. That'll be episode 114. Also, for those of you who may be new here, we give away a book to a random person on our mailing list on the first of every month. So make sure and join the mailing list before October 1st, which is just a few days away. You can join right at oldpodcast.com. Good luck. And without further ado, let's hear part one of Mark Shurnoff's post as we optimize your life. Four Ways to Protect Yourself from Emotional Manipulation, Part 1, by Mark Chernoff of MarkAndAngel.com. Quote, Anything is better than lies and deceit. Leo Tolstoy. How could anyone fall for that? How could I have been so foolish? Why do they believe such lies? How could we have been conned like that? There are emotionally manipulative people of varying degrees all around us. When we are young, we like to think that we are immune to the psychological pressures that confuse, manipulate, and condition other people. We are not so gullible, are we? But part of truly maturing as an individual involves understanding how you too are led by the environment, influenced by others, and driven by the needs you have as a human being. Human beings can be manipulated precisely because we share innate psychological characteristics that render us all susceptible to a point. Although, like any other weakness, some people are naturally more prone to succumb, while others have higher levels of immunity to the external pressures that can make us do things we would normally never think of doing. But assuming that we are already immune is naive and the surest path to being a victim of manipulation. Let me give you a powerful example. Emotionally Manipulated to Death The day is November 18, 1978, and you're in Guyana. There you stand in the middle of Jonestown, a loyal member of Jim Jones's cult known as the People's Temple. He commands you to drink a cup of poisonous, cyanide-laced Kool-Aid and take your own life. What do you do? Well, of course you don't do it, right? Who is Jim Jones, or anyone for that matter, to tell you to end it all? You are not a robot that can be ordered to kill yourself against your own will. But, an astonishing 907 people simply followed his orders and died that fateful day. And many of these people poisoned their children before they took their own lives. People who wanted to live and wanted their children and spouses to live. Why did these people do this? Why did men and women, many college-educated, allow themselves to be abused and brainwashed by this man? Why did they agree to sell their homes and give all their possessions and money to the People's Temple, an obvious cult? Were these people of abnormally low intelligence? Were they clinically insane? Or was Jim Jones a highly skilled manipulator of human emotions? Did he know exactly how to push a human being's buttons? and string them along even to the extent that they would poison their own children before ending their own lives? Either way, that was just Jonestown, right? It was an isolated event. Wrong. Jonestown has happened numerous times throughout history, and it will happen again. I bet you can think of other examples where people were willingly driven to their own demise. It may not be Jonestown, it may go by a different name, but we see the same exact psychological mechanisms of manipulation in play. Understanding these mechanisms can help immunize you not just to the grosser psychological manipulations of a wicked cult leader, 
but also to the more subtle psychological conditioning that we all encounter as part of everyday life. We all have basic human needs. Jim Jones was a master of deceiving people by appearing to give them what they needed, and this is the crucial point to grasp. We all have innate human needs. If your fundamental psychological needs as a human being are not being adequately met, then, unless you understand precisely what's happening and respond appropriately, you will be motivated to latch on to any source that appears to satisfy these needs. Some of your basic human needs include number 1. The security of a safe environment in which to grow. Number 2. A sense of autonomy and control of your life. Number 3. A sense of self-worth earned through creative problem-solving and the achievement of personal goals. Number 4. Being part of a broader like-minded community. Number 5. A sense of status within social groupings, which includes feeling important or respected in some way. Number 6. Being emotionally connected to certain people, family, friends, etc. And number 7 meaning and purpose arising from being able to make a difference. Again, if any of these basic human needs are not sufficiently met in your life, you will feel inexplicably attracted to anyone or anything that promises to supply what is lacking. The awareness that this is happening can save you an incredible amount of trouble. Many of Jim Jones's devotees were drawn from a pool of disgruntled people who are not leading satisfying lives or meeting their basic needs in healthy ways. People facing uncertain times or uncertain futures, people with low self-esteem and negative self-images, and so forth. Jones held out the promise of certainty, social acceptance, community, self-respect, purpose, and feelings of security inside his temple. And there must have been some really deep-seated beliefs instilled in these people because eventually they followed Jones like some New Age Pied Piper into oblivion. Universal Applicability and Susceptibility It's rather easy to see that if your needs are not being adequately met in a healthy way, and someone or something comes along that promises to supply all of your needs in one convenient package, then that can seem pretty irresistible. If you disagree, think about this. On a more conventional level, consider how many people feeling neglected in a marriage have a careless affair with someone because it was so nice to be listened to, flattered, romanced, etc. The very same unconscious propulsion towards an affair like that might drive others into the arms of a cult or a new wonder drug. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled Four Ways to Protect Yourself from Emotional Manipulation by Mark Chernoff of MarkAndAngel.com. As I mentioned at the top of the show, our book giveaway is just around the corner. So go ahead and join our mailing list before October 1st if you'd like to have a chance at winning. And we actually do the book raffle on the first of every month. So there's always next month if you don't win this time around. You can join right at oldpodcast.com. Again, that's oldpodcast.com. Good luck and thanks for listening. That's 113 episodes down. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you again tomorrow for part two of this post by Mark Chernoff, where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily, the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. 
You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.